So, Paul, how did you get the movie up and running? Well, the most reliable source of funding is yourself. Yeah. So, um, I, ma <laughs> I managed to convince my, my brother and my cousin uh, to uh, invest some money very wisely and myself uh, and that's how we did it actually. There was about six months of pre-production and most of that was getting the script uh, improved uh, and then going through the casting agencies and getting the cast assembled, uh, working out locations because uh, the principal location Sydney University so that was quite an achievement to get them to uh, firstly agree yeah. and secondly we had to fit in with their, uh, their terms because we didn't want to film when university was actually fully operational. Have you always wanted to produce films? Is it something that you've always wanted to do? Not really. In fact, I, I didn't really um, consider it until I was, uh, I guess, talking to some friends and, and I've always enjoyed movies. And then I thought to myself, well, uh, why not try, try to do it and, and what's involved? And um, I guess the thing about filming is, is it is open to everyone. Um, if you, you know, can put something together, there's no, you don't have to qualify to make a film. There's no, no process. If you really want to do it and yeah. you have the means, then um, you can have a go. So you do believe in destiny? Look, it's a, it's a funny thing. Everything seems to have fallen in place with this movie. If, if it didn't, it wouldn't have occurred. And every time we've had a, uh, an impediment or something complicated, uh, it's actually steered us in a different direction, which has always been fortuitous. So, in a way, it's, it's quite remarkable how the film was made and how it's turned out. After four long years, it all came down to this. Our last day together at university. And just when we thought we had it all figured out, fate had other plans. Actually, I, I wrote the script, so um, and it was something that I just wanted to do something a bit fun, something around um, university campuses, um, and the idea is fairly basic. And the, there's four friends, four guys. Uh, two of them are also very gifted, and they're rivals. And then there's one of the girlfriends who's a bit uh, into the occult and into such things. So from that, it sort of expanded into a, a sort of a fun type of uh, concept. Once the general idea was there, then it was um, constrained by what the circumstances were. So we had to you know, get C University involved and St Paul's College and Wesley College in different aspects and we thought, well, what sort of things are we capable of doing? And it's sort of more a practical issue. The things that we thought we could do could be included, whereas obviously not with a big budget, you can't come up with all these weird and radical things because it just, it's just something that you can't do. So there's a practical aspect, but also with the characters, um, Roger mentioned before, a lot of the characters and a lot of the dialogue uh, was very, very basic in the script. And that had a beneficial effect, I think, because it gave the actors the chance to really excel and put their personalities into their roles and do a lot of ad-libbing and things on the day. So. In a way, that's a good thing. Oh, did you have fun taking me for my little ride today, Ricky? Oh, Blake, I know exactly what you're talking about, and I swear to you, I had nothing to do with that Vinnie Mamie. Yeah, dude, I hate practical jokes. You know me. I think they're cruel. I believe you, Ricky. But thousands wouldn't. What? Blake! I went to Sydney University, so that's why I thought it was a nice place to base it, because it's such a beautiful location. It's the sandstone. The first one in Australia, Sandstone University, based on, on say, Oxford in, in England. And I don't think much has been filmed there in the past. It's a different side of Australia. A lot of films are based in rural Australia and you, you want to see all that beautiful landscape. But, uh, of course, we're a very urban society and, and we also have these beautiful institutions. So uh, that's, that's certainly something I wanted to, to get into the film. And then the wonderful colleges also. I, I stayed at one of them, St Paul's. and there's a sort of funny tradition there and, and so I, I relied upon those memories to, to, uh, to incorporate into the film. So did you go to the usual government agencies to try and raise the money? We didn't and um, I think that's because you'd be joining a very long queue and that would delay things by many years and also you probably have to change a lot of things to, to suit uh, what those institutions recommended or advised. The other thing is that I, I think we're a little bit different in that um, 
the films that receive funding often um, uh, have very strong uh, social messages or are a little bit more grim or, or concentrate on you know, some other uh, difficult, yeah, something Causes like, and, and yeah, so this is just more a fun, fun sort of uh, film. Uh, I think it's a, it's a film that is, is designed to get a laugh and um, has uh, entertaining aspects and usually lifts people's spirits and, and they feel good after they've seen it. But firstly, can anyone tell me what in blazes a car is doing in the college dining room? <laughs> The owner of a Fiat Sports Coupe AZ31SQ, I'll deal with you later. I think that it's important to um, have a cast that can really get involved in, the, in their characters and, and contribute a lot, uh, because I think that, that makes all the difference, is the acting. Uh, you can have wonderful script and wonderful backdrops and everything else, but it's, the, it's that human element of, of those people contributing their skills, so the, the casting and the actors is, is, is the essence of the film. Was there ever a stage during production where you lost faith? Again, fairly fortunate. There were no major disasters. For example, if it had just rained for a few weeks, um, that would have been uh, devastating. Um, but we had, you know, all the right weather and all the actors were able to turn up and we didn't lose anyone. and. There were no major calamities, so again, you were talking about destiny before, everything had to, for us, everything actually had to fall into place for us to complete the film, and it did, so we were very lucky. Is it all just